Hey everybody, welcome back. Kyle here again. I'm gonna take some time to look at this Costco place that we bought, uh, a few of the features about it, um, some things to watch out for, um, and I guess the overall feedback of this, how this thing's built and uh, um, how the kids enjoy it. Um, I also did spend some time and money on putting a nice border and base around it. We'll cover that in a little detail and uh, make a few mentions of how I did stuff along the way. Sit back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So here it is. This is a Cedar Summit playset by Kidscraft. Uh, we purchased it at our lot, local Costco. Um, I'll make sure to mention the model number and such here in the comments. Um, and I'll give you guys a, um, a link to their website for the playset. Um, spent right at $1,000 for this playset. Um, and bang for your buck, it sure seemed like to be the right thing. We couldn't find any other play sets with a twisty slide on the end um, that wasn't $1,800 or more. And, um, there was no cutting needed on this play set. It was just uh, pretty basic hand tools um, and some drill, some drilling work to, to pilot hold the stuff. Um, along the base, you'll see I used uh, um, some new play rubber. Uh, it was bagged mulch. had at Menards as well as some 4x6 um, green treated uh, structural lumber along the outside. In the corner here I have the galvanized corner brace. It seems to work really well to keep an airing square. Um, so far I'm happy with what I did. I guess it's a little overkill, but uh, I didn't want to have to do it twice. You'll see on the base here is that rubber I was talking about. It's uh, shredded tires. We got the earth tone color, and underneath that is the uh, uh, commercial grade fabric. It's a really thick landscape fabric. Um, basically, I had to puncture a hole with it in it with a utility knife to be able to put any um, stakes through it. Um, it is a four foot wide roll, so I had to uh, figure out when I did that, you know, laying the seams out, and then I added some stakes through to keep it in place. Um, I had to buy 150 bags of mulch um, to get an average of three inches across the base here. Uh, according to their website um, and the data on the bags, it says it protects from a fall from six foot. So Realistically, I I don't think, you know, I mean, that's only a four foot tall at the top of the slide. They fall from up top here at the crow's nest. We've got bigger issues, um, but um, there again, uh, our three-year-old's not quite brave enough to get up there. So, so far, so good. Um, it's been really, really a uh, nice play surface. Um, down poured four inches. We come out here right away and play after the rain with no issues at all. Drained away nice. Super squishy. Like I said, there's only about two or three inches over the entire base of this. Um, and there's no concerns as far as safety goes. Um, this is a recycled tire. So um, I, I guess keep in mind, you know, the product varies in size um, and application here because it is shredded. Um, but it does have a 12 year color warranty on it. So that's to be interesting to see how it lasts over the years um, and, uh, and go from there. But I said the warranty exists. So worst case, you have to file a claim and hopefully they'll make it right with you. But um, some of the pros to it so far have been, you know, there's no bugs in it. Um, when it gets wet, it doesn't stay wet. It's super squishy, doesn't get compacted when it gets wet. Um, and uh, I guess one of the cons I was expecting this to do is when it gets really hot, you get a hot rubber smell. Um, it does have a slight smell to it, but it's not like, oh, man, this is it's rubber, you know. Um, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty um, light in scent if it does have any scent at all. Um, overall, it's, it's really impressed with the stuff. It does sew a 24 foot 4 inch by 32 foot 5 inch uh, play area. I scotched that back a little bit here on the one end. Um, I end up going with the 24 foot by 28 foot area. Um, and I, uh, it seems to be more than sufficient. I'm not really too worried about the uh, swing side where I, I kind of snugged up on space. Here's a look at the different tools required for this. Um, every one of those is definitely true. I would recommend using an impact style uh, um, screw gun, uh, battery powered. I use a DeWalt, worked great. Um, one thing also to mention is if you're using a drill bit, it does come with an eighth inch drill bit, but a 3 16 drill bit's needed, and you will definitely need to uh, buy a long one if you don't have one. A neat feature with this hilltop playset, um, here's your here's your model number at the top there. Um, what's kind of cool, I think, is that uh, it does have an interactive video you can download, which is a 3D model. You can go piece by piece looking at things. So if you're more visual and don't want to read, um, it definitely spells out for you how to do it. Um, I used that used them both actually and I found it really helpful so something that's kind of neat with this uh, play set that was um, nothing I really thought about would uh, exist when I bought it so uh, pretty cool 
bang for your buck, I think this play set's probably nothing, um, nothing short of that. This is a great, great unit. Um, it's built with uh, cedar um, and it's stained. Um, they use two different uh, colors on this thing. Um, you look around the back, you'll have the uh, lighter brown and they've got dark brown for the stairs. Um, they do a really good job with the bright colors. Um, looks like it's something that'll last quite a while. This has been outside already. Um, I think we put it in right after the pandemic started. Um, so we'll say three months, uh, four months has been out here. Um, really nothing of issue yet that's wearing. Uh, you'll kind of see here on the stairs um, where the kids walk up and down it. Um, you know, there's a little wear on that. And as well as over here where they're accessing the fire pole. Um, not, nothing you wouldn't expect. This is wood. Um, but you can also uh, touch it up with a little bit of stain. Um, there's a little bit right here on this on this board. Um, and uh, there's a couple of little defects I'll point out. Uh, but I will note that KidsCraft has been great about um, sticking behind their product and getting us some new stuff that uh, actually arrived this week. So a little bit more here on the actual construction. Um, the beams out here um, above the swings and on making the actual frame itself, um, it is uh, made out of laminated uh, laminated dimensional cedar. You'll see that the, they've either glued um, these two by uh, looks like two by fours together, and then they actually have screws you install through them to keep them from checking or coming apart. Um, the same thing here on the end, as well as up here on the top, they use the two by six. Um, put two of those together, laminate those together. And even here, we're attached to the place that they've got two laminated two by fours. Um, the laminated struff, uh, sorry, the laminated uh, structural stuff is, is pretty common in construction. They'll do that with beams and such. Um, so I wouldn't see this being a problem, you know, the longevity of the product. Um, it's just something that they, uh, you know, um, mentioned here. You'll see that they have another screw in the middle that that's supposed to help prevent checking in the wood and coming apart. All right, guys, let's spend a little time walking around this play set. Uh, let's look, look at some of the features of it, um, some of the things that kids really enjoy. Um, and I'm also going to spend a little time looking at some of the spots I saw were defective um, and maybe problem areas as you're assembling this. Um, I think I want something to note here is this is supposed to take a, a little bit of time to assemble. I think they have this set up for um, uh, two people. It's supposed to take 14 to 18 hours just to build the wood part. And then they're saying another two to three hours just to build this slide. So... Keep in mind if you're doing this, that number is all but true if I added some to that. Um, it took me all probably about three and a half days, um, a lot of it by myself, had some help on the big pieces. Um, but when they say time is, is an issue on this one, it definitely is. So let's take a deeper dive, take a look at a couple things here. And uh, on the front of the place set here, you'll see um, that there is a door for the kids to walk in of. I was having issues with it swinging open in the wind, so I went ahead and made a trip to Menards, picked up a lock for the front door so they can lock it and unlock it. It's actually something fun they enjoy playing with anyways, so um, it was a good addition. Something we'll probably end up doing, it shows this grill here on the front side. We'll probably flip it around so they can you know, use it from the inside, because right now it's under the slide. Not a huge issue, but it'll probably use the playhouse area a little bit more if they had it over there. While well, mentioning time consuming and difficult, this green twisty slide comes in a thousand pieces. A little exaggeration there. It comes in a lot of pieces, right? You have to assemble every piece of it. It probably took four and a half hours just to assemble this thing. Um, it definitely is a, a two person job. I did about 80% of it myself assembling it. Then I had to have help putting it all together. These, these straps along the top here where it joins the tube together are a complete bear cat to get on there. Um, once you get it all together, it's really solid. Um, I think that's going to be kind of the theme here. Is uh, it does take time, um, but uh, you know, what's time for your kids, right? Something else to mention is this green slide in the front. This two lanes, a quick little unit. It's uh, it's really quick. The girl slides right down it, and they'll they'll come flying over here. And um, you know, we have this nice sub base, so uh, it's something that's really nice to have. Recommend the rubber base. Um, there's been a couple times already that Annabelle's swinging, let go of the swing, and she fell out on the ground and just dusted herself off and picked back up and started going again. Overall, I think this place that's going to fit us pretty well for the next uh, foreseeable future. Um, it does have a 10-year warranty on the structure, so anything that would be structurally wrong, if those beams or something were to go wrong, they're supposed to cover all that. Um, the, uh, uh, the stain, something that you can be matched to a local store if you need to do touch-ups. I'm sure over time you'll have to add more. Uh, you know, to prevent it from getting sun faded and, you know, damaging the wood. 
nice thing with cedar is that it will last a long time and that there shouldn't be any issues as far as um, you know insects eating it and it rotting away it's gonna be a pretty good quality wood um, let's talk about a couple of the problems I have um, you'll see up in here uh, right up in there you'll see a crack um, some of these main boards were cracked um, I'm really hoping uh, I haven't opened the box yet they should have a new piece for that in there so I can replace it it's all right but I think if you had a couple of kids up there I'd be a little worried about it there's plenty of structural strength um, but it seems to be okay another issue I had um, another I think it's just a packaging issue some of the corners of the tic-tac-toe part were dented in these deck planks had the same issue they're flaking up and the kids uh, potentially get some splinters so they send us new ones of those up here towards the peak uh, something that they send us new pieces of and hopefully that addresses the issue and we have no more problems one of my favorite things this is the actual up here at the lookout tower you have your little kaleidoscopy lookout that my daughter calls it, and there's stairs up there to get it she's not quite sure of it yet uh, she's three but that's up there quite a ways that's every bit of you know to the bottom of that railing that's probably we'll call uh, we'll call that eight foot about eight foot up to the bottom of that rail um, but uh, it's a uh, it's a really neat setup here. I really like it. Here's here, Sophie, our Shih Tzu, and over here we got Annabelle, our three-year-old. I'm gonna show you guys how much she enjoys the swing. Annabelle, do you like your swing set? Yeah. yeah okay. Let's go. Hey, buddy, love your playset. Yeah. Mommy and Daddy do a good job. No, you did that, and Mommy did it. Yeah. You, and you can put you can get the kids. You guys heard it yourself. Do your kids a favor. They're not cheap, I know. We spent a lot of time out here though over the past couple of months, and I foresee it happening all summer long. I will give kids craft some credit on this one. It seems extremely well built. It's very sturdy. No issues with, uh, you know, multiple kids climbing on it. I think it says it's rated for 10 kids to, to go around on this. And um, the big thing here is, you know, make sure you've got a safe area for your children. Thanks for joining everybody. Um, hope you enjoyed this quick walk around of this play set. Highly recommend it. Kids love it. I will have many years of use out of it, I'm sure. Uh, and if not, remember this has got a nice warranty on it. I think all in all, I've got around Oh, a thousand dollars in the base, and the place that was a thousand dollars. So uh, this is a very good, um, a very good snapshot of uh, how the stimulus check was spent. Um, I think it was for a good cause, right? Kids love it. I don't have to leave the house to go to, to the place set. And actually, Annabelle, our, our older daughter, loves it more than the actual park. She likes to have her own personal park. So until next time, uh, let's have Annabelle send us off here. Thanks for joining, guys. See you next time. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> you smooth.